Great, you went to Berkeley. So what was your backup plan? My backup plan, you know, I didn't really have a backup plan, uh, probably much to my parents' chagrin. That's what got me up here to Boston was to go to Berkeley. Even if I had finished going to Berkeley, which I did not, I still wouldn't, I wouldn't even have had like a teaching degree or anything. So I don't know. I was just, just hoping for the best. Did you think you were going to make it? I had no idea. It's funny, with the cars, there were some funny things that happened pretty quickly that I thought were like, oh, this is pretty neat, like just playing at the Rat. And, and like the first time we ever played there, we got a mention in the paper. It was from, uh, from Jimmy Isaacs. And then I was thinking, wow, that's pretty neat. We got our name in the paper the first time we played in Boston. So the car, there was something unique about the cars in that sense. The history of Boston is a rather odd one to have grown rock and roll, don't you think, Brett? Maybe, but we were in we were in the rock and roll world from the start. In 1955, there was the G. Clefs and Roxbury, and we were there in the 60s, early 60s, the remains, and so it's been there since the dawn of rock and roll, and no matter what, it's always been a rock and roll city. It hasn't been an industry city necessarily, but there's always been music here. Music 